So I'm currently the Director General of the Intellectual Property Office and um, my involvement with the Academy started of course way back when I was the direct, Deputy Director General of uh, IPO of the Intellectual Property Office about 15, 18 years ago. After my um, term, I, I was invited to participate in the LLM program which happened to be the first edition of uh, the LLM in Turin. And uh, that was a very critical point in my life because it sort of made me, it, it was a game changer in so far as I was concerned. I finished my term, but um, my, I was still interested in intellectual property. I know that um, the, my, my experience then as a part of the intellectual property office 15 years, 18 years ago was not enough for me to learn everything about IP. And um, the academy, the, the LLM program that I took was uh, an eye-opener in many respects on intellectual property that was not um, readily accessible at the time that um, I was part of the management team of the office. And um, I, I got insights which uh, broadened my perspective, deepened them, and also um, strengthened some of those that I already uh, knew. And uh, to me then, it was, um, it was something that, uh, it was sort of a storage of knowledge that gave me uh, that gave me the opportunity to use it in the future. The future meaning between now that I I had the IP office of the Philippines, and from the time that I took it in 2003. So that's um, almost 15 years ago. And in between 20, uh, 2003 and 20 and now. I've been through different um, roles involving intellectual property. I um, was part of the Department of Science and Technology handling um, uh, matters involving inventors, assistance to them, and also um, IP commercialization. And then I was also, um, I started um, teaching in the university on uh, the legal side of IP. So again, that was something that uh, complemented everything that I knew. And uh, later on, I was also um, invited to act as tutor for the DL program of the academy. And that's something that I really appreciate because it was, um, it, it again, not, uh, not only, it was not me giving out all the time, it was me also learning from the students. So um, I could even cite some, some um, questions that, were, that I post in the, in the platform and then students would, um, would start to discuss and uh, I would learn from the IP systems of their own countries. So it was, it again, uh, is a very fruitful uh, undertaking on my part. And um, all this, I believe, prepared me for my posi current position now. I advise them to uh, take IP um, not so much with seriousness, maybe just the way you should, they, they, they do with learning, they will find out for themselves later on that things that they would have learned, that the things that they learn in the academy would be useful at a, some uh, dates in their lives. Um, if IP is something that is not yet in their consciousness or is something that uh, uh, they, they're not looking at quite uh, uh, seriously as a career, they, then um, they would also learn that IP is in every aspect of their lives. 
And uh, having, having learned that from, from waking up in the morning to sleeping at night, from birth to, to the end of our uh, lives, you will see that we are all surrounded by intellectual property. And uh, you may, um, this is something that should interest everyone. As a, a student, as a tutor then, um, we must uh, be able to impart not only our knowledge to share with the students, but also to use it as a forum for also learning. And then, this, uh, this is just like a um, uh, domino effect. It, then you can also again impart that knowledge to the next batch or to your experience in whatever endeavor involving IP or non-IP you will have. I believe that um, the courses offered by the academy and also all the trainings and the competence building that they, they're using, uh, they're, um, uh, that they are sharing for students and for the public are really very useful. Um, the MOU is the beginning of, uh, I hope, the, the start of um, uh, of a systematic approach to teaching IP from uh, wh whatever age level that uh, we have for, for the public, for the students, and also for professionals. Uh, so this will uh, address the issue of uh, continuing uh, IP education, if there is such. So it's something that uh, we would like to um, to offer to our uh, nationals and even to, to those who would like to take advantage of our academy and our partnership with the academe and the university in providing uh, a holistic approach to uh, the education or the, uh, giving IP awareness to all sectors. So um, we would like to see that this is um, provided in a way that that one will one in attending one workshop or one seminar you will ask for more so uh, that's how we envision the academy to be and then hopefully that would be the vehicle for the country to be to really raise the the, uh, the awareness on intellectual property not only knowing it but also in regard to respecting IP. The reason why we chose to partner with the Academy is because of the experience that I've had, first-hand experience I've had with uh, the Academy. It, as I said before, a game changer in my life. It was a very useful experience in the position that I'm holding now, without which um, I may not have had the opportunity if it were not um, given or offered to, to me um, many years ago. So um, I would like to thank uh, the, not only the Academy, but of course WIPO for giving, for having given me this opportunity, which I'm now um, making full use of and also making, um, using to improve the system, not only for my personal use, but also using it for my office and also hopefully uh, for the country in terms of policy uh, directions, in terms of uh, uh, partnerships that we're building with our, uh, with our partners. Uh, so we, we believe that um, uh, this kind of, uh, of uh, opportunity should be, uh, if given to others, should be taken by them and look at it positively because who knows, it might also change their lives.